hello students welcome to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem which says that the corners of the square plate are given the displacements indicated determine the average normal strain alongside ab and diagonals ac and db so we are given a square, uh, square plate and whose corners are displaced and the displacements are shown in here 0 0.3 0 0.3 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 and so let's say that this particular corner after the displacement is let's say a dash this is b dash this is c dash and this is d dash so let's name them so this is a dash this is b dash and here this is c dash and this is d dash so we are asked to find the strain along sides AB, diagonals AC and DB. So for AB, we can say that the strain, the normal strain along AB will be equal to the length after the distortion or we can say after the displacements. So that will be A dash B dash minus AB. So the final length minus the initial length divided by the initial length will give us the normal strain along AB. So AB, we will find AB, we will find A dash B dash. So first of all, let's find A dash B dash. Let me write it here. This will be A dash B dash using the Pythagoras theorem. We will be going to use the triangle let's say that the center point is let's say point o so for to find a dash b dash we are going to use a triangle a dash b dash o triangle so that will give us a dash b dash length so using the pythagoras theorem we will be using this length square plus this length square under the square root so we can say that o b dash plus o a dash and taking squares using the pythagoras theorem so we can say that o b dash so this is o b dash from here to here so this will be equal to from o to b is 10 inches so 10 minus 0 0.3 is o b dash so we can say 10 minus 0 0.3 square plus o a dash so from o to a dash is 10 plus 0 0.2 so 10 plus 0 0.2 square and then taking the square root 9.7 square plus 10.2 square this gives us a dash b dash and that will be in inches so we can say that 9.7 square plus 10.2 square this is equal to 14.0759 inches let's see and now we will find a b so to find a b we are going to use triangle a b o the initial right so that will give us a b so for a b we will be having o b square plus o a square so we can say that o b square plus o a square under the square root then o b is 10 inches this from o to b is 10 inches so 10 square plus o a is o a is 10 inches as well so 10 square plus 10 square under the square root this will give us 10 square plus 10 square is equal to 14.1421 inches so the strain along a b will be a dash b dash which is 14.0759 minus 14.1421 divided by a b which is 14.1421 so this is equal to 14.0759 minus 14.1421 divided by 14.1421 this gives me minus 0 
four six eight and this will be inches per inches so this is the average normal strain along the edge a b so the negative sign is as you guys can see that the final length after the displacements of the corners is less than the initial length you guys can see so final minus initial this will give us the negative sign similarly to find the average normal strain along the diagonals for a c so we can say the strain along a c will be equal to a dash c dash minus a c divided by a c now this is simple you guys can see that a dash c so from here a dash c dash so a dash c dash so you guys can see that this from a dash to o is 10 plus 0 0.2 which is 10.2 and here is 10 plus 0 0.2 so this means that the total length will be twice 10.2 so 10 plus 0 0.2 or we can say 0 0.2 plus 10 plus 10 plus 0 0.2 so 20 and 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 so, so we can say that 2 times 10 plus 0 0.2 minus AC so from A to C so from A to C is again 10 plus 10 which is 2 times 10 divided by 2 times 10 so this gives us 0 0.02 inches per inches diagonal db again the strain along diagonal db will be d dash b dash minus db divided by db so now d dash b dash so this from here to here so from here to here is again this is 10 from here to here is 10 minus 0 0.3 so this is 9.7 plus 9.7 so 2 times 9.7 2 times 9.7 minus db so from d to b so from this to this so 10 plus 10 is 20 or we can say 2 times 10 divided by 2 times 10 So this is minus 0 0.03 inches per inches is the average normal strain along the diagonal db so this is the average normal strain along the diagonal ac this is along the diagonal db and this is along the h a b so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from mechanics of materials by rc hibler